Hello everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to the fifth tutorial in the Puppeteer tutorial series. In this video, what we will be talking about is how we can bypass recapture in Puppeteer using the toCapture API. By the way, before we continue, I want to mention that toCapture API is paid, so have that in mind. By the way, if this is your first time in Puppeteer, make sure you check my playlist where I have tutorials explaining how Puppeteer works and other useful things for Puppeteer. So yeah, let's continue. First of all, I'm going to go to toCapture.com website. So before I continue, make sure you sign up there and they have a minimum deposit of 3 US dollars. So to be able to use your API, you have to make a minimum deposit of three USD dollars. So yeah, I have done that already. And as you can see, now I'm at 63 cents because I use it personally. So if I scroll down, I want to show you how much you pay per souls. So my rate currently is three USD per 1000 souls. I haven't done 1000 souls, but for the ones I have done, it calculates that that's my rate. So for every about three USD dollars, you get 1000 souls. So yeah, have that in mind. Now next, uh, this, I'm going to show you the website we will be using this on. So Google provides you a demo. And what we will make the script to do is solve the capture and just click submit and that's it. So let's go on the plugin, the recapture plugin for Puppeteer. And as you will see, it's really just easy to use. So first of all, we pass it, we pass it the API we get from to capture and you can find it right here. So API key and next to that it should be your API key. So yeah, that's it. Now let's go back. So here you, the ID is the provider and we are using toCapture.com and the token should be your own toCapture API key. Now visual feedback is if you want to see a, the capture if it is solved or not so if you have headless off and you are able to see the browser while the script is running it will colorize the recapture violet detected and green solved as it says right here but i guess it's not really useful for production just for testing now here we are on the code so all it does is it says to go to the page with the recapture and there is just one single line of code which does await page.solve recaptures and now we are waiting for navigation and then once the capture is solved we click the submit button which is this one right here and then we take a screenshot so let's copy this example and get it started on our code. So this is the code from previous tutorials, but don't mind, we will create a new file and call it capture.js and we will copy the example, the code example, and we need to install a few things. First of all, open terminal. And if you are not in uh, Node.js, application you need you first need to create a node.js application so first of all create a folder next you need to run npm init dash y actually just npm init click it fill the details and, and then a package.json will be created then create the captcha.js file and now follow along with me so what we will do is npmi now puppeteer by itself it's not used here you cannot see somewhere require puppeteer itself but puppeteer extra uses puppeteer so we need to download it then next we need to download puppeteer extra 
then the plugin and that's basically it now i'll do that as save to save it on our package json this will take some time as it is downloading chromium as well now that the installation is finished i'll go back to my to capture dashboard copy the api key and replace the token the xxx here with my api key now down here i'll do one change and that's headless i'll put it default so i am able to see how it works where you can see real time and also i'll remove screenshot because i don't need a screenshot since i'll be watching the script solving the recapture myself so let's comment it out let's comment it out and run node capture.js as you see it's opening a window and as you'll see the recapture got kind of grayed out and that means the script is start to interact with it. it it takes quite some time so have that in mind it will not solve it immediately and there we go did you catch that it solved it you click submit and the page closed but i don't want to, the page to close i want to click submit and also see the success page so let me rerun it and you see it got grayed out so that means the script is start to interact with it and there we go it got solved and we got on the success page verification success hooray so that's it now there is some other things i want to show you in most websites just by doing that it will not work since they put recapture this box right here in an iframe so we need to to tell puppeteer to look to look its iframe and try to solve a recapture if there is any so let's go ahead and do that if you scroll down here on troubleshooting solving capture in iframes it gives us how we can do that so i'll just copy that and replace this one right here with this one so what that does is it grabs all the frames from the page every child frames and then for every frame it tries to solve the recaptures and something useful we can use is to get some result information from from the solved recapture so i'll copy this one right here and for example if you want the script to act depending on those information that could be useful or if you want to save those information so there we go now let me console the log them actually probably you only want the solved one so what that will do is it will console the log if it was solved or not and another useful tip that this plugin tells us to do is wait for a selector and for example a page will not load the re recapture immediately so when you visit the page the recapture might not be there so a useful thing to do is to wait for our iframe depending on the selector of it and once it's visible then try to solve it again that can be used in the iframe as well so what we can do before we look for the iframes we can first await for a specific one and we can give the selector of the iframe and then try to solve them so that's mostly it i hope you enjoyed this video you can check the api down in the description this recapture plugin for more information so yeah leave a like if you enjoyed this video subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos.